Oh god, it's Titus. Although, thankfully, you don't have to worry about this game. It wasn't developed by Titus, it was only published. This game is actually developed by Polygon Magic that has made a bunch of games, but none of them really stick out to me. This is the only notable one. Welcome to Incredible Crisis. So I've been aware of this game for a really long time because I used to play the hell out of the demo for it that came on a demo disc in November 2000 for the official PlayStation magazine. Also had a really amazing video of the, at the time, upcoming Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, this is a minigame collection, and it's fairly hard. I don't think it's as hard as the other games are going to be presented in this thread, but uh... For, you know, a minigame collection to have any sort of shelf life. Oh god, the dog shakes when you turn vibration on. But for any minigame collection to, like, last more than half an hour is gonna have to be a little hard. Alright, so this game is just a big collection of minigames, and a couple of them repeat, but most of them are unique. Um, this game is divided up between all the family members you saw in the beginning cutscene, and the first part of the game is uh, starts with Teneo. So this level is just a little dancing thing. So you can see I'm already fucking up. Because the timing is really weird. You actually have to press slightly before the button hits the center of the little push icon. And every time you fuck up you can see it's filling up the little head in the corner. And once that hits full, uh, you die. Or maybe not die. Teneo just gets really upset and can't handle the stress. Doing great. 
And every time you successfully do a button push, uh, it refills your health a little bit. So this one isn't too bad at first. However... This minigame does require some fairly heavy button mashing. And if there's one thing I've learned is that most people cannot handle button mashing at all. Meanwhile, I am really good at button mashing! Come on! Come on! Man, a little finger takes, like, the most pushes. So that wasn't too bad. I even had full health by the time I ended it. Alright, here's the first mini game that was in the demo. So we have to run away from the iron ball. We got it. We'll have a distance meter, and uh, when it gets too close to us, you have to start running with the X button. But you can only run if you have an energy drink left. And I think you have six energy drinks that you can use in total. Each press takes up one energy drink, but they do refill. But that, that's not the only thing. You also have to dodge obstacles. And the timing's also a little weird. Ah, uh, shit! A little weird on those, too. Uh... Oh, well... That was quick. There we go. It's about three beeps before you need to press the button to dodge the obstacle. Here's another one I had a hell of a time with when I was like, shit, 10? 11? Uh, you just have to match the X button to stop the elevator. You just have to hit the emergency stop button a whole lot. But there's also lots of falling objects that you have to dodge. And you have a meter, oh shit, for stopping the elevator. Shit, oh, there we go. But of course, even just dodging it means the bar, damn it, bucket! The bar completely empties. Oh god, that is a lot of button mashing. Damn it. So close. Ah, oh, there we go. Wow, my arm's actually burning from that one.
Yo. All right, so this one, we're on this flagpole, and we need to cross safely, Yo. shit, before the uh, statue there crumbles. Yo. Damn it! So you have to oh. press and hold the X button, and it'll fill up this meter here. Yo. Damn it! And you <laughs> want it to oh. land uh, in the center where it's green, because that means you'll advance safely. There we go. Yes. Damn it! And every time you fuck up, you almost fall. And you also have to regain your balance. And regaining your balance isn't particularly easy in this minigame. Come on. Oh, damn it. Shit. Come on. And there's also wind blowing around the wind shit. Damn it! The wind also changes. Which also affects how much you have to press the button to regain balance. Oh boy, it's starting to come to pieces now. And also, when you get closer... Damn it! The uh, green section becomes a lot smaller. Damn it! You barely tap the button and it fills up so fast. Oh, thank God. Yeah, and at the end of each section, uh, it ranks you on how well you did in each minigame, and depending on how well you did total, uh, you'll get extra lives. I only got one, unfortunately.